Oh, how are we going to hit him today? Well, it's about always the same for me. Somewhere <laughs> between 88 and 98, and uh, some days good and some days not. And a lot so of us good. will take 88 between 98 yeah, and 88. <laughs> pretty darn old. John. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 350 down the middle. Fair way. <laughs> That's, there's no 350s. <laughs> First of all, what was your reaction to his hire in the first place, and then, and how do you feel about it now? And a guy, obviously, that you know well that you work for. Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> <laughs> and we've talked about enthusiasm a little while ago. Bobby brings a ton of that, and mind this is the only club I got that I have to regrip every year. <laughs> you know, in our day, it was smelling salts, kick you in the heels, and get up and go. You know, uh, here at Central, we wore leather helmets when I was in high school. And you got a concussion, you just tape sponge over the top of it, you know, and then off you went. I mean, in fact, I didn't, I didn't know what the word concussion was, to tell you the truth. Oh, hold it. You're a part of that lineage now. There's been so many great coaches that have come out of Butte over the last 100 years. Why do you think that is? What about Butte has produced so many good guys? Oh, you know, I think I have a definite answer for that. Obviously, it's the work ethic of our parents and, and grandparents being, a, you know, a, just a, a blue-collar, hard-nosed mining town that athletics was your way out of Butte. Good ball. Coach, I hear you're quite the uh, hole-in-one champ. How many do you have in your career? I have three total. Sean, two at Canyon River and, and one in Billings, Montana when I was coaching at Colorado State. I guess basically our life revolves around football, golf, and grandkids, <laughs> and not, I'm supposed to say, necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs>